Hi, people. Very good evening to everyone who's here. So let's start, okay? Can you start by chatting on the, pick up the chat box and let me know when your science exam is. Just put down the date. And if it's over, it's okay. Just tell me when, when you did it. Was it yesterday, today, or is your exam tomorrow? Okay. One, somebody already said next week. That is Beluga. Okay, make sure. Also, if your name is accurate, please uh, rename yourself. Thursday, 7 October, great. So those of you who have exams coming up, most likely gonna to attend today's class. I know some of you are happy to see me as well and have come even though your exam is over. Anybody's exam is over, please uh, put down in the chat that your exam is over, but you're just here for fun. Those of you who are here for fun have no pressure, so you can do better. Only um, Abdul, Rafay has replied uh, along with Beluga. Two of you have said your exam dates. How about the rest of you? There's Magnuson, Madrick, Rao, Abira. When are your exams? Open the chat box and just let me know when your exams are. Oh, and another thing. Just mention if you are in sec one, I'll just mention your level because sometimes I have even a P6, uh, I have SEC3 even. P3? Oh, okay. So I have a P3 friend here. <laughs> okay. Science is universal, all of us. Okay. 11 October, Cheryl, yours is 11. 13 October for Rao. Abdul is in SEC2. <clears throat> Carry on chatting. Tell me your date of exam and your level, what level you are in. And see if you are in, a, more of you are in SEC 1 or in SEC 2. Only know Abdul is in SEC 2. Okay, another SEC 2, Madrid, carry on. Okay, that's a good uh, attendance today. I was expecting less than that because I thought um, most of you would have had your exams over, but some of you still have. And that's exactly why I placed a live class right in the first week of October to try and catch all of you before you sit for your paper. Okay, we've got more people joining in as well. That's great, cool. So for those of you who are joining in, I just mentioned that you have to chat with me on the chat box, letting me know what level you are in and when your date of science exam is. Okay, if you don't know the exact date, just say next week or this week. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to do something uh, different from the past few weeks. So it'll be a bit more interactive. There'll be more involvement from you. I will need you to do some questions on your own and then we discuss. So if you are ready, I will share my screen and I'll show you that this is our 88 tuition platform. Okay. So I guess all of you can see. Okay, if you can see my screen. Okay, Arjun, your exam is day after tomorrow. My school is different from all the schools in Singapore. Alex, maybe you can elaborate. Are you from an international school? Or are you from GIAS? Or you live in Philippines? Okay, Alex, cool. Alex, you can uh, take down my number and you can uh, chat with me more on WhatsApp and let me know how you're doing in the Philippines and what are the topics that you're doing and uh, whether the topics in the 88 tuition platform are actually giving you some uh, learning opportunities that match the Philippines program. And if they don't, you can also share with me how, what are the topics that you're doing, okay? So do you know my um, phone number? Okay, for those of you who need my phone number to ask questions this week, just before your exams, okay, I'm gonna type it down. Please take down my number, it's a WhatsApp number. You gotta WhatsApp me. Any question that you may have, you need to do a screenshot, send it to me and ask me to explain if you cannot figure it out yourself. You have to spend at least a good 10 to 15 minutes to look at the question and see if you can figure out the answer yourself if you have gotten it wrong. It's not a matter of, oh, I got this question wrong, can you explain to me? No, not straight away. It's, 
I got my question wrong. I'm going to try and figure it out. Okay, usually when you get something wrong and you see the answer, you'll be like, oh, okay, I understand right now. Okay, so you already figure it out. Then you don't need to approach me. Unless you cannot figure out why the answer says C instead of B, and then you send me the question and say, teacher, I cannot understand why the answer is B for this question. Yeah? So this is my WhatsApp number. I've just shared it with uh, not everybody, but hang on. Take it down. It's right here, right now. Okay, it's 89330205. If you don't have a phone, use your parents' phone to send to me. I will have a look at the question and try to respond as soon as possible. Especially since this is exam week, I will be um, looking at my phone more often. Okay. Got it? And Alex, I've already given you my number as well. Please contact me and let me know how the program is meeting your expectations and what topics that you need. Then we can see if you can uh, add some other topics for you as well. So we know the Philippine system better. Okay, so just answer with a yes, if you can see the screen. Yes. Okay, which is the 88 tuition platform for the secondary one science. Of course, there's a secondary two science as well. I'm going to do the secondary one science first. Okay, we're going to do secondary two science in a while. Okay, so there are how many topics here? Can you all count? Nine. How many Nine, okay. Now, you're supposed to form in your head like which topic do you think you will not perform well in the exam? Like you still have doubts and you always don't get questions right in that topic. Light. Okay, so you only have, can choose one, okay? So all of, molecules. Okay, you can only choose one, all right? Okay, so if you have your answer in your head, I want you to put it down on the poll right now in front of you. Okay, you can only choose one, right? So you put down on the poll. Then we look at the class, see if, if the topics match a few of you and the majority wins, okay? So it's like a secret poll. Nobody knows what others is answering, but this is your own difficulty, okay? <clears throat> one thing it does, it... It um, identifies for you the topic that you are dif having difficulty in, okay? So what you do after today's class, just before the exam for the next few days is for science when you are preparing. Uh, if you have past year papers, it's fine, but you can do that the night, the day before your exam. But until then, please go into our 88 tuition platform. Look for the topics here. Of course, there are topics in SEC2 which are, which are, more than this one that you're seeing right here, okay? So if you're in SEC2, you'll see SEC2 topics, okay? What I need you to do is click on the topic that you mentioned here and work through all the questions. And there are three levels. There's basic, skill, and advanced. And there is expert. And there's one more, five levels, actually. Yeah, you can go all the way to expert level. Work, make sure you work through all five levels. And that therefore, you'll get a good idea of all the questions that can come up from that topic. Say you have finished exercising all the five uh, levels, that means you suddenly become an expert. And that means you, you can create the expert worksheet and you should be able to answer them as you move along the days. And look, we are only talking about creating a worksheet for one topic or two at the max. So it shouldn't take you very long. It should take you one day or two days. We are not doing all topics, remember. You're only going to choose two topics and you already chose on the screen right now. So I'm going to end the poll. I'm going to share with you the results. Okay, it shows, okay where people are having trouble. Now, this is a good indication because we have about 10 to 11 participants, well, excluding me to be 10. So that's like very easy to see how many percent, right? Now, chemical composition of matter, wow, nobody wants to revise that. Model of cells, oh, all of you are good. Particulate nature of matter seems to be there's a particular problem. Atoms and molecules seems to be some problem. That means whenever you do those papers, questions, you have some problem. Light, somebody mentioned light straight away in the, uh, in, I heard him say light, diversity of living things is like really the first topic. You can see only one person is having problem. Light, three. Okay. So the majority here is light. Okay. So don't worry. We will do light now. We will try and do a few today if we have time. We will just do 10 questions. Okay. That will be from my screen. So we'll do the questions live. Okay. So the rest of you 
all of you have to do light okay otherwise then there's no point so uh, let's pick up the questions and i will only discuss the ones that you got wrong so later i'll ask you hey which question did you get wrong okay so pick up a piece of paper just write down the option that you are going to choose is it a b c or d and then we will mark at the end and then i'll ask you which question did you get wrong we'll go through those questions there'll be another poll at the end of this so we'll only take about 15 to 20 minutes exercise and we'll come back and start uh, going through this topic of light so let's straight away click on light and let's begin okay don't waste time okay this is how it works huh? if you all haven't been to this page before this is how it works once i click light you can see it's red and then you select an option. Um, the first option learned by topic takes you to a learning. That means I'll be teaching in classroom. If you really need that, you can, but I don't think at this point you need that because you can use questions to learn as well. So you straight away create adaptive worksheet and you choose your skill level, okay? So I propose that you skip the beginner and the skill and go straight to advanced, okay? Because it's exam time already. You cannot be <clears throat> still in basic. So we don't want to see very basic questions. That would be a waste of time. So advanced, then you have specialist and expert. Try one of these. So if you think you're really weak, maybe you can tr try pushing yourself up slowly, but otherwise you can go straight to specialist as well. So let's look at, um, I think let's look at expert today because you have expert Dr. Ali sitting down here in front of you. So if there are problems, he's going to be able to explain to you, right? So let's do expert straight away. So let's really look at how difficult these questions can be and whether you can handle them or not. So there will be 10 questions shown to you. Okay. Okay, for my... Um, my, my page, right, it will be slightly different because I'm using the teacher account. So don't worry about it. These are still the expert questions. Okay, there are only eight questions, so don't worry. So there are eight expert questions, okay? But for you, we will create 10 because yours is a student account. The computer creates it differently. Don't worry about it. So mine, these are all the expert questions that I have put in for students to do. So let's try it, okay? You have a timer going on there. So let's do it for 15 minutes. Okay, eight questions times two minutes each is 16 minutes. So let's do for 15 minutes. When the timer hits 15 below, we will stop, okay? And every time the timer hits uh, two minutes, I will change the question. Is that fine? Every time the timer hits two minutes, I'll change the question, okay? You can start now. You write on a piece of paper the answer. Just to let you know, we have 10 seconds before I change the question. So please uh, put down your answer. I'm going to change the question. Okay, I know you cannot see the options below. It's okay, I want you to do the question first. Okay, the question asks you which of the following can be deduced from the experiment, right? So you write down one, 